As many of you requested, I made a tutorial for how to make a shot like this. Just follow the simple steps and you can do it too. Okay, let's start taking a look at the footage that we're about to sparkle with some great effects. And take a look at me run. Oh yeah. And let's also take a look at the background photo. This is what we're going to switch the background with. Anyway, just drag your clip onto the storyline and trim it the way you want. Then insert another video track and drag your uh, footage on top. Then select the event pan crop tool and at the bottom left you'll find a mask. Oh yeah. Then select the pen and just start making a very rough mask. This is to switch the background, you know. Eliminate the current background so that you have something to put the other background on, you know. Oh yeah. And like that. Now we're going to select the feather so that we can blend the background and the footage smooth and nice. So just set it to 4 or 5, that's enough. And now we're going to select the background photo, just to put it in the back of the Agni. But, however, as you can see the background photo does not harmonize with your footage, so we need to color correct. Select curves and corrector. And as you can see we need to remove a lot of contrast in order to make them blend. Just do like this on the color curves, that should remove some contrast, and tint it a bit blue on the mid-tones. And take away 50% of the colors. Then you need to insert another video track. And as before, your footage goes on top. And now we're going to add some explosive effects found on detonationfilms.com. I use the Arc Ripper, it's a real explosion just shot against black so it's easy as hell to key out. So just drag it on top of your timeline between the footage and the background and trim it the way you want. And as you can see it blends pretty damn nice with the mask you made earlier. And now we're going to remove the black, so just go to compositing mode and select add. That removes the black and keys out your explosion. And as you can see boy, this is starting to look like something. And now you just add another video track above and select timbers, also found on detonationfilms.com. It's a pre-kid fire that you can put wherever you want. So just drag it on your timeline and put it all the way on top. Then you just trim it so it fits your video. Oh yeah, just a little more here man, there, there man. And now you just do the same thing as you did with the explosion. Go to compositing mode and select add. That removes the black. Now all you need to do is to go into the crop tool and uh, scale it so it fits should go on top of the TP there oh yeah and if you did everything right your video should look a bit like this and just to make color correcting a lot easier we're going to render it out first so go to custom and select your TV standard mine is Paul but you damn Americans you got that anti SC never twice the same color <laughs> Never twice the same color. Shut the hell up, Stuart, you damn boy. Go fetch me a beer. Anyways, when the rendering completes, you just open the folder and drag it onto your timeline again. Now we just need to focus on the color correcting. So go to the effects chain, select color curves, blah, 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 brightness and contrast, and color corrector. Just do a bit like this and Increase the contrast to give it a bit more depth, like so. And finally just tweak the colors a bit warmer, since it's a fire after all and fires tend to be warm. And congratulations, you are done. You have just made your own totally awesome visual effect sample. Yeah. 
Anyway, thanks for watching my tutorial. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something useful. Og med det takker vi for i kveld. Mødder, hvor har du gjort av min far? Ja, du møtte. Kanskje jeg bare skal gå og dra? Ja, du møtte. Hvor har du nå gjort av alfa? Du har kanskje stuet.